A former NASA consultant claims he saw staff from the U.S. Space Agency editing UFOs out of images of the moon before they were released to the public. Dr. Ken Johnston SR was a consultant employed by Brown and Root in the Lunar Receiving Laboratory of the NASA Johnson Center in 1971. He was involved in storing, curating and cataloging Apollo images and moon rocks. One important aspect of his job was to package and ship lunar samples to science labs. It was during this time that he alleges to have seen NASA photo technicians painting out details of anomalies and UFOs in lunar photos taken during Apollo missions. He also claims to have been aware of other anomalies between original photos and films he observed firsthand, and what was catalogued by NASA or made available to the public. Mr. Johnston made the extraordinary claims as he donated photographs and research materials to Roswell's International UFO Museum and Research Center. The museum has one of the biggest collection of UFO and alien-related material in the world, and was set up to commemorate the July 1947 alleged flying saucer crash that happened in the desert outside the New Mexico town 69 years ago today. Mr. Johnston, who has written three books in the Ken Moon series on the subject, including those of his claims, now tours UFO and DT conferences speaking on the subject. His most shocking claim is that he was ordered by senior NASA officials to destroy five full sets of photos from lunar missions. He claims to have argued they should, instead, be donated to universities or research institutions, but this fell on deaf ears. However, he claims to have held on to some of the images, which he suggests show evidence of unexplainable objects, and even buildings and structures on the moon. Mr. Johnston has since sparked controversy by claiming to have been sacked by the space agency for whistleblowing about the images, despite never being directly employed by NASA. Jim Hill, executive director of the Museum and Research Center, presented Mr. Johnston with a certificate recognizing his donation, which included copies of his three books, which contain NASA photos and images and copies of interviews he has done. The museum attracts has around 180,000 visitors a year and is a Smithsonian Institution depository site for UFO-related reference materials. Skeptics claim his claim of being sacked is an exaggeration of his being dropped from a solar system ambassador program, due to becoming heavily involved in pseudoscience. They also say that Mr. Johnston has been unable to produce any completely original NASA photographs, and all those he has referred to in his books, can be obtained through NASA or other archives, and so were never completely destroyed as he alleges they were supposed to be. NASA vehemently denies doctoring images to remove evidence of aliens or UFOs, and says it has not yet found any evidence of life outside our planet. However, it refuses to comment on individual allegations due to the high volume. Mr. Johnston is not the first former NASA consultant to make such outlandish claims. In December Express.co.uk reported how Donna Hare, who claims to have worked for computer and engineering contractor Philco Ford during the early 1970s in NASA's photo labs on and off the site of the group's HQ, said evidence of UFOs in images was destroyed. She said a security guard told her he was forced to burn UFO pictures by mystery armed men, who struck him with the butt of a gun for looking at them. She also claims to have seen a UFO in a NASA image being airbrushed out by technicians. Ems Hare also claims to have had a high level of security clearance and was able to access parts of the building known as Building 8, which gave her contact with a series of high-ranking officials who leaked her information in secret over lunch. She claims in a video testimony to have learned NASA officials who wanted to speak out about the existence of UFOs were threatened with the loss of their pensions and forced to sign gagging orders. Thank you for hearing. Watch more videos at www.5la.net.